Hey folks, it is Tuesday, February 15th, and here's what we're going to do today. So if you are turning in assignment one, uh, it is gonna be due at the beginning of class. Remember, I don't have a late policy, so you can turn it in whenever. Just make sure to message me when you do turn it in so that I know uh, that it's done and I can grade it. Um, so today we are learning all about our new workflow for unit two. Unit two is a very long and I think super fun uh, unit. It's like our most chill unit and that's on purpose. Um, and the gist is that we are basically going to be like reading an academic article for homework every night uh, together and then using that academic article to think about like snippets of different cartoons. So it's really cool. We're basically watching cartoons and talking about stuff, right? So there is a mini, so this is, these are the skills that we are going to learn in unit two. And then I want you to just go ahead and watch this video introduction to unit two, right? And then we're going to actually practice our new workflow today. So we already read the Tobinet all piece in unit one. We're going to use that piece uh, as a lens for thinking about this clip from Wreck-It Ralph 2, right? So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to watch Wreck-It Ralph 2 and just have a pen in hand to take some notes of like think of connections you're seeing uh, between the Tobin piece and the film and try to get really specific examples. Don't go for low hanging fruit. The idea of doing an analysis, which is what we're another thing we're practicing in this unit, is to really zero in on very specific examples um, because that's what analysis requires. It's not like just like general broad strokes. Like you want to notice the broad strokes, but you want to also notice the very specific examples that illustrate the broad strokes you're seeing. Okay, so we're going to practice that. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And once you have taken some notes, you're going to just take 10 to 15 minutes and just write like a paragraph or two uh, analysis. Usually people stick to like a paragraph uh, and that's fine. Just make sure it's a healthier paragraph. And you are going to post that to uh, Pop Research Channel 1. Now, one of the things that I want you to notice is that for every channel from here on out in this unit, I have actually created like a sample analysis where I take that same academic article that I'm assigning you, in this case, the Tobin one, and I apply that to one of the one of the clips that uh, is an option for you to watch. And the idea is that I want you to kind of see me modeling what I'm looking for. So what I want you to do when you are paying attention to my sample things, it's not so much my writing style, that's, that's, writing style is one of the easiest things, right? That just takes practice. The hard part is noticing, is like adjusting your lenses to really specific things. So that's what I want you to pay attention to, is how I'm zeroing in on specific moments from the film and making these direct connections to an academic article. So if that's what, that's what I want you to notice, okay? More, more so than like writing style and tone is notice the level of detail in terms of the examples I'm zeroing in on and how I'm applying it to an academic article, because that's what I'm trying to model for you, <clears throat> okay? So once you get your uh, little paragraph done connecting the Tobin piece to Wreck-It Ralph, you're going to paste that into Pop Research Channel 1 and you're going to meaningfully engage with at least two of your peers. Now what I want to, when I say meaningfully engage, what I mean is I want you to really take seriously your peers' ideas so that if they're making a specific observation and they use an example, be like, yeah, you're right. And I also noticed this example too that is related to this thing that you said. Because what we're doing is crowdsourcing ways to sort of pay attention um, and really develop our uh, ability to analyze things so that you are going to be really confident headed into your last assignment in this class, which asks you to do that analysis. So I want you to think about Unit 2 in general as this really slow and gradual and fun way to prepare for your final assignment, okay? So for homework, we are going to be reading um, Addressing Disability as Part of Diversity. Um, so it's a short article here. Pay special attention to pages six and eight. Those are going to be really helpful for you. Remember, you do it, we're doing the active reading model. Don't skip out on the academic articles in this unit. Remember, it's just like one comma and two responses, right? So just like keep that in mind. Don't um, forget those because they're meant to boost your grade and they really boost your grade. So that's it, friends, and uh, let's have a good day in class.